Hey, what's up, OCNers? I'm Blue Devil. Normally, we talk about computer parts like CPUs, GPUs, storage, and the like. But your work service is important too, right? I mean, is a computer desk really high up on your list of gear that you need for your regular setup? I would have to agree that a nice desk will last you a long time. Sit stand desks, which are all the rage right now, and when Seville Classics asked me if I could take a look at their new Airlift Pro S3, which has a white dry erase board as a work surface, I couldn't say no. So with all the people now working from home due to the certain human malware, having a comfortable workspace is pretty well important for productivity. Having a sit-stand desk already, albeit mine is a husky workbench from Home Depot, which can be raised by a hand crank, so the notion of pushing a button is definitely appealing. There are often times when my back gets tired of sitting and I need to get still get some work done while standing. Another nice quality of a sit-stand desk is they are heavy. Heavy like sturdy heavy. You know what I'm talking about. Nobody likes that wobbly desk that creaks and cracks, especially when you're trying to concentrate. So when I got the Airlift Pro S3, it came in two separate boxes. Both were pretty large. One consisted of the dry erase board top, measuring in at 54 inches by 30 inches, and the other with the all white frame and feet. All tools needed for the installation were included. Nice. Installation went decently smooth, taking only about a half hour to put together. My only real issue came to us when the wire management cover, which didn't seem to have all the wire channels completely cut out. Grabbing my rotary tool, I remedied that quickly. Once I fixed the wire management cover, I worked on cable management, having a single power cable only hang down. Moving to the heavy duty steel base, I secured to the top with the included Allen key bolts. Then all I had to do was attach the feet with some more Allen key bolts and flip it back over. This took two people for this due to how heavy everything was, so I enlisted my 13 year old son for the job. Once flipped over, I began setting up my workstation. I guess my only issue was with the Allen key bolts. Why three different sizes? This may lead to confusion on which bolts go where and would drastically simplify the installation process. Now my monitor arrangement is something that I wouldn't consider normal. I mounted a 34 inch Acer 3440 by 1440p ultra wide using a standard monitor arm on the bottom. For the top monitor, which is the MSI Optics Mag 272 CQR 1440p gaming monitor, check out that review here, I mounted it to an Ergotech Freedom arm which I positioned just slightly back from the top of the ultra wide. That's a decent amount of weight, something in the neighborhood of 40 plus pounds between the two monitors and mounts. But the Airlift Pro S3 is rated to lift up to about 264 pounds, no problem. So I did my rig to the desktop shouldn't be an issue. However, that will take some of my workspace away, so I'll be keeping my desktop on a separate cart. Now, once I had my monitors all set, I focused on clean cable management with my cable runs. Using the six included fasteners, things cleaned up nicely. I, however, think the foam sticky back on the fasteners wasn't quite up to my cabling weight, as it let go after about a day or so. Quickly grabbing some double-sided Gorilla Glue double-sided tape seems to do a much better job at keeping the cables where they need to be. I gotta admit, this cable management job is one of my better ones, thanks to the Airlift Pro S3. Now I have to say, the dry erase ability of the Airlift Pro S3 is a great option to have on a desktop, especially while benchmarking. I can quickly jot down the temps, DBA noise levels, or anything else that comes to mind while benchmarking. The dry erase surface has a glossy finish to it, so scratches are gonna happen, but are really not that visible. Since the Airlift Pro S3 is a motorized sit-stand desk, four height levels can be programmed into the controller which can be mounted on left or right side, providing lift from 25.6 inches to 51.4 inches at about an inch and a half per second, making quick adjustments really easy. My setting started at the base 25 for the first setting, number two is at 30 inches, my preferred sitting height, three being my optimal standing position, and the fifth being all the way up at 51.4 inches to get things out of reach from my youngest son getting to anything expensive. You know what I mean. Getting back to the controller, which has a blue LED display, seven buttons with two buttons being dedicated for up and down adjustments. So conclusion time. I haven't mentioned the price up until this point for a reason. It's actually one of the least expensive models you can get. Surprising, huh? Autonomous has their smart desk too, which MSRP is for about $480, which is almost $70 cheaper than the Airlift Pro S3. And sometimes can be found for sub $400. But, however, that is the only sit-stand desk that I found to be cheaper. Other models 
like the Uplift V2, have options to add power grommets to the desktop, which minimizes cable clutter. So what's the good and what's the bad? With the airlift pro s3 well the pro s3 is really the only one on the market to have a dry erase top option i really can't tell you how useful it is until you actually use it the price point is actually pretty competitive but that came at a few cost cutting corners like lowering the weight lift limit no cable grommets or power adapters for better cable pass through and different keyed allen bolts on installation in the end, I love this Airlift Pro S3. It has allowed me to be able to stand while doing work and by doing so, be more healthy by allowing better blood flow to the rest of my body. All right, guys, if you want to check out the Airlift Pro S3, links will be below. It also seems like I might be hitting up Seville Classics in the future when I build my new studio in my detached garage for some additional gear. More on that at a later date. Also, please take the time to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks a lot, guys. Blue Devil, out.